Hello everybody. Good day, beloved. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I did touch on briefly on your video yesterday about fear and anxiety, robbing you of listening to God. I want you just to turn in your Bibles to the second epistle of Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Put your hand up and say, I don't have a spirit of fear. And if you do, God didn't give it to you. It's come from the devil, That's not right, from God. He's a liar. The devil's used circumstances to put fear in you and to rob you of the joy that and God has given you. you and to paralyze you, yes. Right, to make right. you spiritually yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. In Jesus' name. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. A spirit of fear is not in a sound mind. Definitely not. It's not. It's an unsound. It comes into an unsound mind. Anxiety does, stress does, and all those things. You might be suffering with anxiety and depression. You might be on medication for it, and God will heal you from that. But God wants to give you a sound mind. When He's talking about a sound mind, He's talking about a stable mind, a mind that is not messed up with all the things of the world and with the things of the devil. And it's a strategy of the devil to try and put fear in you, to block your spiritual ears so that you cannot hear That's right. God. That's, right. That's what he does. He tries to fill you with anxiety and with stress. That's right. Absolutely. We pray all the time in the spirit, especially going through this move, that anxiety and stress is not going to get hold of us. It's going to, <laughs> it's going to go smoothly in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hand up. Say this move. This move. We'll go smoothly. We'll go smoothly. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yes. And now I want you quickly. Uh, go on. I just want to say this and uh, share this. Uh, Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace He's, him who is yes. mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Yes. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal. Yes, amen. So, ye will keep in perfect peace him who is mine and steadfast and yes. trust in you. So, just trust in the Lord. His peace will come upon you and just reach out to him. And he will not let any harm come to you he in the name not. of Jesus. In Jesus Cast name. anxiety down. That's right. Don't accept it because, you know, once mind can get so busy with anxiety... And, and, and you get so busy and you start making mistakes, you start forgetting things because of anxiety and that's fear. Right. And that's what the devil wants. That's he wants right. us to do things like that so that, uh, we, uh, you know, that we, he can rob of us our joy. But God, uh, God not will not to, allow Jesus. that. That's right. But you've got to take steps. We have to. We Listen, have to you've got to be obedient faith. to the word of God. That's what you've got to do. You've got to apply the word of God to your life. In Philippians chapter 4. Yeah. In verse 6 it says, be anxious for nothing. Lee read this last, last week when we did a video. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication or petition, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And then have faith and not fear that God has heard your prayer. And if God's heard your prayer, you can have confidence that if you pray according to his will, he's going to answer you and you're going to receive. And it goes on to say, after he says, uh, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds Christ through Jesus. Christ Jesus. That's right. That's right. We mustn't give the devil a foothold or a chance to start chirping in your ear, to fill you full or shooting fiery darts of you, at you, to fill you full of anxiety and fear. Trust God. Believe. Jesus said, if you ask the Father anything in His name, that's my phone. If you ask Jesus anything, and uh, if you ask the Father anything in the name of Jesus, you will receive whatever it is that you've asked for. So what you must do is ask and believe, believe, believe. Don't just talk it, 
believe it. That's right. And if you keep on believing it, you will have it. And lastly, in the third epistle of John, verse 2, it said, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things, in all things and be in health just as your soul right. prospers. Right. Now understand this, I'm going to be very quick. Your soul is made up of your mind, your will, and your emotions. So your mind must be prospering, your emotions must be prospering, and your will must be prospering. And for it to prosper, you mustn't be anxious for anything. You must make your supplications, request known to God, and let His peace fill your soul right. and your heart. Let your heart be full of believing. Believe today. Believe that God's heard. Believe that God's answered. Believe that you will receive and know that God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. In Jesus, also, mighty name, Amen. Amen. Praise God. And so we come to the the supper table, and uh, and we're going to eat of the bread that represents the body of Jesus, who died for you, who died that you could prosper, who died that you could walk in health, who died that you could have eternal life. So let's eat of the bread together. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And then let's drink of the, the grape juice or wine, whatever you're drinking, from the cup of grace that represents his blood that was shed for you, for you to be rich, for you to prosper, for you to have health in Jesus' name. Let's drink together. I'm preaching to myself today and I'm enjoying my preaching. I hope you are. <laughs> I hope you are. <laughs> Father God, we bring precious Angie Bridget before yes. you. We bring Marion. We bring Mark before Amen. you. We bring Carol before you. We Amen. bring Joseph before you, Father. Yes. We bring Tyden before you, Father yes. God. Yes, hallelujah. We bring the Murrays, the Stansfields, the yes. Karaskis, Father God. Amen. We bring the governors before you. Yes. We bring the Amen. Trons before Amen. you. We bring Amen. I know and her All family, those, yeah, Father clip. God. Yes, every precious Amen. person, Father, we bring them before you, Father Amen. God. We thank you, Lord, that you got plans to prosper them and not to harm them and to give them a Amen. hope for the future, Father God, that Amen. you are their shepherd. They shall not lack in any area of their lives, Father, that by the stripes of Jesus are healed and made whole. Amen. In Jesus' mighty praise name. Praise God, praise God. Satan, praise God. I destroy and remove yes, every assignment against Jesus. every person that we Jesus pray for daily. I destroy it with the blood of Jesus. You will have no hold over them in Amen. any way, form, or shape Amen. in the name of That's Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, Praise we thank God. you, Lord, that your precious thank people you, are free and thank healed you, by the stripes of thank Jesus. You, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Just remember, at the end of this video, a card comes up. It's got, it's got uh, my cell phone number on. You can contact us if you need prayer or counselling. We you. love you. Thank we will make time for you if you call that number. Also, our bank details are there. If you feel that, that you would like to sow a seed into this ministry, to keep this ministry going, or you want to sow a seed to help us financially with our move, move we will be extremely grateful, and God will bless you. Thank because you're you. supporting the kingdom of God. Thank Amen. You. God Praise bless God. you. Bye-bye.